call six investigators tonight. It is a question we all face when renting a car. Do you pay for the extra insurance coverage? You may be debating the answer this holiday weekend, but some people say they weren't given a choice and were overcharged. Call six investigator Rafael Sanchez has information you need before your next trip. Rafael. Uh, Todd and Erica, good evening. T customers filed a lawsuit against Dollar Thrifty Automotive Group. They complain that the rental company charged customers hundreds of dollars for extra coverage uh, they did not want. Steve Roberts travels a lot for work. In March, he flew to Tampa, Florida to the Honda Grand Prix Indy Race. Roberts rented a car from Thrifty, which along with Dollar is now owned by Hertz. When I first talked to her, I said, I don't want the damage waiver because I am covered by my insurance and by my credit card. Robert says he asked a thrifty employee to make sure he wouldn't be charged for the lost damage waiver or extra insurance coverage. And I said, OK, I, this does not include damage waiver, correct? And she said, no, it does not. After his trip, Roberts noticed this, a $135 charge for lost damage waiver. Roberts called Thrifty twice to dispute the charge, but says he got nowhere. He said, too bad, uh, you know, it's, it's already on the bill. This lawsuit filed in November against Dollar Thrifty Automotive Group is seeking class action status. It spells out similar stories from other consumers. Roberts did not take part in the lawsuit. A doctor in Denver charged an extra $215 for insurance coverage. A senior citizen in California, a $359 charge. Even a retired insurance adjuster who handled claims for another rental car company charged an additional $259. All say they did not ask for or want the extra insurance coverage. The lawsuit alleges that Dollar is aware of the practices and even stands behind their employees tricking consumers or simply forging their signatures. The Call 6 investigators, along with several other script stations, recently rented cars from Dollar and Thrifty. While employees offered us the extra insurance coverage, our producers declined it and were never charged. In a statement, a spokesman says the company does not comment on pending litigation, but says that Dollar Thrifty complies with all laws and denies allegations that it sells customers products they do not want. Before you buy extra insurance when you travel, check your personal car's coverage. If you have comprehensive and collision coverage, make sure it extends to rental vehicles. And consider your deductible, the amount of money you'll pay out of pocket if there's an accident. Well, just like any loss, if they're driving their own vehicle and they have a loss, what's coming first is their deductible. Anything above their deductible, the insurance company will take care of the damages. As for Roberts, he went through his credit card to dispute the extra $135 charge. And Thrifty recently removed that charge. A dollar spokesperson also says the company intends to defend the cases vigorously. And Todd and Eric, as for Roberts, he also says that when he gets his original bill, he writes the words, no damage waiver, <laughs> no damage waiver on that bill, and then keeps a copy of it because he doesn't want this to happen to him or anyone else out there who's traveling this holiday weekend. This will come in handy for a lot of people this weekend. No like damage waiver. <laughs> Big, bold letters. Big, bold letters. <laughs> Thank you, Raphael.